Okay, okay, okay. I'm sure you're sitting here going, oh my god, Joe is streaming Fortnite? But Joe's not great at live shooters with other people. Well, you're right, I'm not. However, this is not the Fortnite that you know. This is the other side of Fortnite, the creator side of Fortnite, the side where we get to play with purpose. And today we have... It's an educational experience, yes, but it's absolutely gorgeous experience that has been created by the team at Preloaded Studio, um, where I work now. And I know, I know, it's not, it's not what you expected to see on my stream, Ray, but hi. Um, this is something that has been created by the team at Preloaded Studio, where I work. Um, and I, it launched today um, through UEFN, which is Unreal Engine for Fortnite. Um, and I am just massively excited uh, to to show it all, show you all that. Um, and I'm just so proud of the team. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh. This is something I can show you, um, which doesn't involve me to have any skills whatsoever in Fortnite. Though I did at least learn the basic controls, so we do know how to go forward, we know how to jump, <laughs> and we know how to do a little dance. Um, so, yeah. If you want to play this for yourself, um, I have the island code right here, including a link to our... Um, our site where we explain what it is we're trying to accomplish here um, so you can access this map right now in Fortnite on Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, PC, Mac and also Android but not iOS that's a whole other kettle of fish which we're not going to go into if you click X then you can go into Epic's Picks, um, which is like the third thing down. It's also in my favorites, but you don't have my favorites. Um, it will be in Epic's Picks um, until I believe next week. Um, or you can enter the island code, which I've provided um, in chat and was briefly on screen, which you can also see here, which is kind of small. Um, but. This is Wonders, Pyramids of Giza. So today we are going to discover ancient Egypt, home to the fam famous Pyramids of Giza and the Great Sphinx. Set circa 4,600 years ago in the 4th dynasty, this island recreates the Giza Plateau, featuring the Great Pyramid of Khufu, the Pyramid of Khafre, Khafre? Khafre? I really should have looked at how to pronounce that, and the Great Sphinx. We're going to explore this ancient time, uncovering secrets about the lives, beliefs, and cultures of its people. But I'm not going to show you all of it, because I want everyone to experience this for themselves. But I'm going to give you a little bit of insight um, to the project and just explore Egypt together. So there is a little disclaimer. This island has been developed with a focus on historical accuracy. However, minor artistic license has been taken to ensure playability. Um, which includes some really cool features. Um, so, as I said, this is created by Preloaded Studio, and we have the island code here right now, or oh, you can see it in Epic's Picks. So, we're starting a private game because we want to play this all by ourselves really, really slowly. Um, and, yeah. So... We have worked with Epic to develop this, but it is um, something that we have released ourselves. Um, we also worked in conjunction with renowned Egyptologist Joanne Fletcher to ensure historical accuracy. Um, and we learned some really cool things, which we've worked into a playable experience. So learning, learning through play, story doing moments, they're called. 
Um, so this map deals with the monumental and also the minuscule. So we start in the lobby. Oh my gosh, I've got someone to install Fortnite just to play this. So there is a, a little lobby, which is a little platforming game, which I have managed to do. You know how bad I am at platforming, but there is a whole little platformy game. Ah, I fell off. Okay, fine. There's a whole platformy game in here. You can climb up. There's another room. I challenge you to see if you can do better than I did, but it's going to start. So I'm just going to let it start here. Um, but UEFN allows us and grants us the power. So we are about to take part in one of the one of the ah I didn't read it fast enough sorry you can read it on screen welcome to Egypt's spectacular fourth dynasty golden age of the pyramids so this takes us back in time where we can explore Giza and uncover its secrets. It's quite funny though, if you do end up in the water, which I have many times when you skydive, it starts warning you about crocodiles of the Nile, because this is the Nile. Um, I didn't know how to open the parachute the first time I did it, so I ended up way out there, and I started swimming back, and it's like, oh, beware, the Nile contains crocodiles, which may eat you. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to swim faster. So we land the banks of the Nile and you can see the Sphinx in all its glory with its nose because we've gone back in time you can see the pyramid with its capstone in place and shining and we have our first set of objectives so we need to carve the legendary monument we need to perform a sacred witch ritual at the temple. And you need to, and we also need to locate the wall, the pyramid builder's town. So you can add all those objectives to your map as you can see they've popped up. You broke it? The map? Or Fortnite? <laughs> the site of the Sphinx Temple. If you're stuck in the lobby, you have to go out. The matchmaking is a teeny bit wonky, which we are working with Epic to try and solve. Uh, if you are having problems, just make sure you start a private game. Um, so the really cool thing is the dust devils shoot you up into the air. Patrick! Also, hi Leaky, I didn't say hi. So the dust devils shoot you up in the air and you can glide. Look at this. This is all built using um, the, uh, hang on. Uh, where, 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 where's my little note about what we used? But yes, it's, it's built using all kinds of cool things. Research, most accurate research reference material available. And also in conjunction with a renowned Egyptologist called Joanne Fletcher. So this is just really cool. So the first place we're going to go visit is over here. It's in Egypt. So let's inspect the area. Behind this wall is a town where the pyramid builders live discovered the wall of the crow. We ticked off an objective. Woohoo. Um, there we are. Archaeological evidence and linguistic studies helped us create this so it's as accurate as possible.
No, 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 no. If you play in private mode, you can play by yourself. Um. I'm just going to stare at the vistas here. It's incredible. So these are historically accurate um, hieroglyphs. They actually mean something. So the gang called the White Crow of... Kn I'll read that again. Knumgfu is powerful. Um... So yes, that we, we did linguistic research and, and made sure we collaborated to set to, to make sure that all the hieroglyphs were actually readable, if you know hieroglyphs, which I don't. And then the slightly in historical accuracy is these wonderful dust devils. You find them around button. Which lets you go. <laughs> Because that amuses me so much. So we can glide around the map because it's quite large. We will have a little explore. So this... Is the Kafra Valley Temple. So you can see that it's still in construction. I'm a hydrocliff. Hi, Jesse. You can see it's still in construction. Um, and has these beautiful carved statues. Varying sizes, and we can perform the opening of the mouth ceremony. And Kafra's soul can now speak and breathe in the afterlife. So our goal with this experience was to bring purposeful and educational value to Fortnite, and indeed we are releasing an educational lesson plan. Um, for the future. Ooh. It's as if King, King, Kafra's, King Kafra's Sphinx is also guarding his father's pyramid. So yeah, there's all these little secret bits where you can look. And then, like, very cool little passageways. Because it's still being built. So we wanted to create a purposeful experience that demonstrates the platform's power to be used beyond entertainment. So with the virtual world as our canvas, we were able to weave in story and learning moments across the island, allowing players to dive into the architecture, beliefs and cultures of this amazing period. And what we did discover is that, that the Sphinx wasn't built up from blocks. It was carved out of one giant piece of lim limestone, which gives us the opportunity to leverage a characteristic Fortnite um, mechanic and we get to finish carving Sphinx which is really really cool it, it did take me a couple of attempts to figure out which button was the pickaxe um, but we actually get to finish carving the Sphinx out of limestone this does actually take a wee bit of time because there's quite a lot and it's very large and I am not great at the platforming in this. There we go. But yeah, as you can see, the Sphinx has its nose. Because we all know that it lost its nose at some point. So this is a newly carved. We've gone back 4,600 years to finish carving the Sphinx with our wonderful pickaxe. I do like our little Lara Croft-esque character. I did discover that if you have not purchased any skins, it assigns you a random character at the beginning of each play session. And I have totally reloaded so I could get, um, I, I could beat like the 50-50 random chance of getting um, a woman to make sure I had at least a semi-me to play with. <laughs> I have also learned uh, quite a lot of XP for this season um, just by testing the map, which is very cool. Um, so yes, it recently launched the latest season. We're on version 25. I don't know whether it's season 25, but we've got a version number anyway. Um, so we did have to do a wee bit of uh, extra testing in order to launch after the release. Um, I'm sure everyone who's familiar with the development knows that, you know, you introduce something new and there's always bugs. 
Um, we've personally managed to find quite a few and we've worked very closely with Epic to resolve um, as many as possible to ensure a very smooth play experience. Um, I love the fact that there's a whole bunch of platforming elements. I really wish I could put my pickaxe away. There we go. Sorry, I'm very bad at platforming. So there's a whole bunch of platform experiences in here so you can climb up to various areas. <gasps> Ooh, I wonder if I can climb the Sphinx's butt. No, sadly not. Hmm. I'm just gonna go. How can I get that bit? Thankfully, helpfully, that is one bit. I'm gonna climb up on its little towel though. Um. So yes, I was very excited to be able to try this because I'm not a Fortnite player. I don't like the shooty shooty. The guns are disabled in this. You can't do the building. You can, however, do a little dance. Doing a little dance. <laughs> only have one dance um but it's very cool so this whole experience is laden with jumping puzzles multi-point challenges discoverable cinematic moments and multiplayer moments so i'm playing it on my own but voila we made a sphinx but you can play with a whole group of people and discover all the secrets for yourself Completed one of three areas. So. I'm going to see what else there is around here. I do like the fact that the bricks are marked. I think they indicate like the different area of the pyramid they're going to. To ensure they're placed in the right place in the right space. It is an architectural marvel. I do really love the fact that the capstone's on it. I know there's like a whole story behind the capstone going missing. Um, there we go. Sorry, I'm really bad at jumping. Female deities named here guard the temple to keep evil out. And I love the fact that, you know, the hieroglyphs are historically accurate and not gobbledygook. And that the whole place is peppered with historical facts, secrets to find. Even I don't know where all the secrets are. Mainly because I just was, I, I just came on to this project. This red granite was shipped from Aswan. Over 800 kilometers to the south. So I've just been involved in the final step, the launch step, because of course I come in in the end. I'm not taking any of the glory because this was this was um, complete before I started. Um, but it's certainly something that I am proud to share. So the finest white limestone comes from a huge quarry at Tura, 10 kilometers south of Kisa. So limestone and granite. I kind of wish I'd landed in the water at the beginning so you could see the crocodile message because it is kind of funny. But it gives you something else to discover yourself. Shh. Sorry. That's just incredibly funny. So yes. Tiny bit of historical license or uh, um, creative license taken. Artistic license. That's the word I wanted. Taken with the fact that... Yeah. Dust Devil didn't throw you up in the air and you couldn't use a glider. Um, there is a whole way that you can get up here. I just like using the glider because you all know I'm not great at the platforming. Um, so... What do you all think? Team's done an amazing job, haven't they? Look at this. <laughs> Sphinx butt. Love the lens flare. Hmm. 
Yes, carving is a tiny bit better in the game, yeah. Oh, look at that lens flare. Just going to get a quick snapshot. Yes, of course, I'm playing as my other account because A, I had to test it without people seeing that I was playing Fortnite. And also B, just in case I accidentally unlocked something. Because I don't really want to be... Ooh, what's that down there? Ooh, okay. Well, I'm following this objective marker and then we're totally going to see what down is down there. You know me, always like chasing the objective markers. Ooh, there's another pyramid. Ooh, hello. King Kafra's pyramid temple. It must be King Kafra. Hello. Yeah, I shall crouch in the attempt to kneel respectfully. <laughs> but yes, carving is very much quicker when you're doing you're using Fortnite. Um, ooh, this is one of these interesting places. <gasps> Oh. And of course, it's the desert, so sand gets everywhere. So many reflections. <laughs> Sorry. Mostly when I've been doing this, I've just been discovered the pyramid Kafra is great. I've been doing this mostly just been testing, so not had any chance to really explore. Ooh. So we've got some more objectives. Help the royal viziers in the quarry. Find the king's name in gold. And locate the architect's tools at the pyramid. <coughs> Excuse me. It is ridiculously warm today. I have been baking and running around like a headless chicken. Um, sorting out bits and bobs. For this. Back to the royal cartouche. King's name Kefra means he appears like Ray, the sun god. There's also a little snake, which is cute. Discovered Kefra's pyramidion. Can't say words. So hopefully this sort of map will be able to be used as an educational experience to learn about Egypt and also see the places that are talked about in person. I love that lens fire. And learn lots of bits of history. So as I was all going as I was running along the top, there was like this little markety thing. Ooh, stone. So, I want to go and have an explore down there. But yeah. So it was really cool. When we were developing this, we had access to a bunch of UEFN specific features which were yet to be available to creators. So we were able to work closely with Epic and the Fortnite creator, creative community to figure out how to push the engine further and in new directions so we could showcase the play potential and demonstrate its value to mainstream audiences. Um, and there was obviously a challenge involved in developing, um, making an experience with features that were still in development. Um, so we took an iterative building and fast fail mindset approach. Um, so we are continuously pu pushing the edges and pushing what was possible. Um, but we were able to start building the experience and get a feel from a player perspective quite quickly by using something called white boxing. Um, Basically, building out the level without any of the graphics. Just using, you know, very large pyramid shapes that were white, unsurprisingly, because it's called white boxing. Um, 
and getting an idea of what could be possible with the dust devils and the scale which is why the dust devils were added in because the sheer scale of the map makes it quite hard to sort of run from one edge to the other um without some method of fast traveling effectively unless of course you've been playing lots and lots of fortnite and you have the boosters which let you go whoosh around the map in a totally historically inaccurate way um so yeah but uefn is an incredibly powerful engine and hopefully we've created quite a compelling experience um so yeah and a truly authentic experience also now i'm gonna eat some bread because you know me love my carbs he i'm guessing that's a healing item so if we had accidentally fallen off something and damaged ourselves we could totally heal ourselves by eating bread it's gonna let me eat some more bread of course i'm gonna eat some bread Nom 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 nom. Right. That's so cool. Oh, I can eat some bread here as well. Um, but yeah, I've just been incredibly impressed with what the team's managed to create. And, you know, I'm looking forward to be able, being able to create more experiences in UEFM. Um, which took me a good couple of weeks to learn that, the acronym. The Royal... Viziers have ordered four statues of King Kafra. Nice. Okay, let's have an explore down here. Because it's not just about the objectives. Ooh, I see a, I see a rock with a cross. Oops, and I ran into a rock. Hang on. The first Unreal 5 game you've played. Really? There's, I mean, there's a lot of games out that are, you know, made with Unreal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, oh, so let's fight. See, they ordered four statu four statues. We found one. <laughs> um. So, I don't. It, obviously, we can't like smash all these bricks. That was a good. That was a good jump. That was the best jump that I've done so far. It's this axe. It keeps getting in the way. When the axe is away, I'm much better at doing the jumping. But obviously this is an area where we can ask things. I can ask, ask some questions. Okay, probably don't want terrible puns in this. Um, oh, I see another cross. Also, I see an objective marker, but... Ow, I fell off. Hi, subterfuge. Hi. I'm playing Fortnite, but it's not the Fortnite you think it is. Hey, what can we do here? don't know i think oh this is just quarry it's telling me that there are statues that i can carve okay cool it's an objective for the entire quarry and it will go away when i finish the quarry statues i didn't even know this was here see i'm discovering new things with you all um because yes as i said we've, we've mainly just been checking that you can do the objectives and go through the map and that nothing breaks too badly um you know, as always with any game experience, um, you know, there have been glitches. But hopefully we've managed to make it as smooth as we can. Oh, I see one up there. Actually, I see probably where the other one is as well. I'll just have a quick whiz down there. So I see one up here. Gosh, come on. I'm not very good at the jumping. Aha! Little platform. Excellent. There we go. I like that they've helpfully put red crosses on the things that have to get disappear. Excellent. And the other one was across here. Which we're going to take a super boost up. Excellent. Royal request is complete. Ken Kafra will be pleased. So you see, when you're playing it along with a bunch of people that have been playing it for nearly a year now, I mean, UEFN got announced at GDC in March, at the end of March, um, but that was the public beta release. We were involved at the Alpha Point, which I believe was, you know, going on a year ago. Um, 
So everyone that's plays the map that I've been playtesting with at work um, has been doing this for a while. So they're like, whiz, 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 objective, objective, objective. So I've not always had the chance to explore, appreciate the surroundings, and also figure out where all the objectives are. Aha! And that would be the way to go up if you don't take the Dust Devil. Um... So, yeah, right. Yeah, it's just it's just so very cool. As I said, I'm not going to show the whole map. Um, we're just doing a little Joe case, and then we're going to switch over to do some power wash because we've got some Lara Croft to do. I feel like it's appropriate after we've you know explored ancient Egypt. As I said. Any troubles, difficulty in platforming are completely 100% Joe. Um, please do not judge the game by my platforming. Um, but this just showcases what is possible within Fortnite. So what are we doing now? We have to locate. We're going up the pyramid. This one I got quite good at because there's a bit of platforming. She says that she fails massively to get up, I think. There we go. Pro cats! Yeah. Oh, I forgot to ask if there are any hidden kitties. I don't know if there are any, any hidden kitties. There's a whole thing over there that I haven't explored yet. So, I'm accidentally mantling when we're trying to jump. All right, there we go. It's like a little obstacle course up the pyramid. It's very reminiscent of Lara Croft, to be fair. Um, which is why I kind of like my little outfit. It, I feel like it fits in. Come on. There we go. Okay. But yeah, I just love like the ambient sand in the air. How that haze hazes out the sun. We'll have to go and explore what that is over there. Those little houses. Maybe that's where the pyramid builders live. The little tour might take us through there. Um, but there's like a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, So you can see how it was built, the layers, and then how the bricks were built up. And then you've got these, which were used to transport, help transport the boulders up slopes over the sand. Gosh, I can't even imagine I mean, I can because I'm literally seeing it here. But how the, the sheer scale of this and also just, just thinking how heavy these are. I mean, you know, standard Fortnite characters, what, five foot six? talking like which is what 168 centimeters so we're talking like i'm now trying to do maths and clipping through a granite block um what was that a limestone block though no, these are limestone blocks so we're talking what like 120 by probably like a good two meters of solid limestone. That's, that's like lots of kilograms. So, ha! Huh, we are inspecting the tools. Copper chisels were used to remove over two million blocks from local quarries. Two million! 
Blimey. We're going to detour via this place because I want to see what these are. Anyone who does anything bad to my tomb than the crocodile, hippopotamus and lion will eat them. I discovered an old kingdom curse! <laughs> okay, that's really cool. I mean, this is just kind of like the best week as well as being the hottest week so far in which my brain has decided it was going to bake significantly um which was not pleasant um oh well, that's what i platformed up nice look at the sand it's got those ripply bits that it does when it gets the wind on it this is not a mod so this is this is a hang on is there a, a thing so this is um, a created island um, that the company I work for, Proloader Studio, has created using Unreal Editor for Fortnite, UEFN. Um, which basically allows you to make your own maps and islands within... Fortnite in whatever style this is an educational experience so it's exploring um the pyramids of Giza and it's set 4600 years ago hang on I have a, a thing so there we go so there's a link to the island so you can read the blurb that I read out at the beginning there's the island code if you want to play it yourself um and there's a um a post on our site that explains you know what we've done and how and this is hopefully going to come with a lesson plan later on so that it can be used in schools um or you know at home to learn more about sorry uh <laughs> ancient egypt um set in the fourth dynasty Obviously, a little bit of artistic license was taken to make it fit in with the Fortnite um, characters. That would be the fact that the Dust Devils throw you up in the air, which I mean, they probably did back in ancient Egypt, but you then could not glide quite so well. So we've already carved the Sphinx. We've discovered pyramids. We've carved some statues. Um, we found an ancient curse. So now we're having a look at whatever this one is. The tomb of Khufu's mother. Make an offering. And reach the top of the pyramid. Yeah! So just imagine, like, in schools, instead of just having textbooks to learn about ancient Egypt, you can actually go back in time... And scale the pyramids. You can, and we're going to, because we're going to end with a momentous slide down that, because why not? Um, and I don't want to, there we go, I don't want to give you the whole experience, because I really want people to go and play this and share it. Um, because it's something that we worked really hard on. We discovered the Queen's Pyramids. Um, something the whole team worked incredibly hard on. I'm so very proud of what they've accomplished. And it really is quite spectacular. And there are so many secrets to be found. And it has historically accurate hieroglyphs. And historically inaccurate dust devils, but who cares? Um, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So we're just going to end because I've realized I've been showing you this for like 45 minutes or nearly 45 minutes, probably about 40 minutes. Um,
But I really want to go up the pyramid. Yeah. Fortnite! I know Lady McGree, but this is not. This is not. Ooh! This is not your average Fortnite. Wow, one of King Khufu's solar boats is buried here to help him sail across the sky with the sun god. That is so cool. This is a Fortnite creator island that has been created by the studio that I work at. Work. Work for? Work at? Work with? I'm the head of engineering. Um, so, you know, <laughs> but management there, you know, so yes, this is, this is, this is preloaded to work. Um, it's absolutely incredible. Please go play it. Um, it doesn't cost anything to download Fortnite. It does not cost anything to play this island. You will not accidentally lock unlock any achievements whilst doing so. Um, and honestly, it just makes us happy. It'll just make us very happy to see people experiencing this and sharing it. Um, but yes. Hi Lady M. How are you doing? Ooh. Can I walk into the Nile? <laughs> I can go for a little swim in the Nile here. Um, other than the steps to get out. It feels quite, quite, um, what's the word? Helpful. But yes, so just another quick blurb. There we go. If you want to go and check out this island, um, then you can. King Khufu's Valley Temple. I shall do another bow, because Crouch works really well as a bow. And this is where I'm like, I'm not so sure where everything is in here. So all of these are, oops, I got stuck on a wall. Blame me, not the wall. Light entering the roof slit highlights the walls at different times of the day and year. So these are all accurate hieroglyphs um, recreated from sort of archaeological digs with in association with a um, prestigious Egyptologist, archaeologist, Joanne Fletcher. Um, and the music, uh, the soundtrack was also created custom for this experience. Which is really cool. In Khufu's Pyramid Temple. So, I'm not going to make an offering. I'm going to see if I can find the... I know it's around here somewhere here. I just wanted to run up the... I want to run up the pyramid and end with an epic slide down the pyramid. So this is the pyramid horizon of Khufu. Hi Scruff! Welcome the Kraken. Of course Scruff was playing the other side of Fortnite, the side which does not involve beautiful 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 Egypt but involves the shooty shooty bang bangs. Um, thank you very much for doing the shout outs. Uh, Leaky. Um, so yeah Scruff this is what we made, this is what my team made. No shooty shooty bang bangs. We did get to carve the Sphinx with our axe, which was very cool. And we've been discovering lots of secrets. Um, but I mainly, mainly just want to slide down the pyramid because you can slide down the pyramid. Um, and I don't want to show the end or, you know, all of the secrets. I want people to go in and see what they can discover. But capstone, there we go. So this is a sheer scale. Of this experience is really cool. Goofy's pyramid. Beans, 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 beans. It was built with 2.3 million blocks of stone. Each corner is closely aligned to the cardinal points of north, south, east, and west. And we're dancing on the pyramid. Because of course we can. Thank you for the resub! Much appreciated. So, as I said, we're not going to finish off the objectives. What we are going to do is... Look, that's that's a partly constructed pyramid. It's just sheer epic awesomeness. I feel like this could be like something in Indiana Jones, where it's like, when the sun is at the right point, the end of this pyramid points to some hidden treasure. I mean, I'm not saying it does. I'm not saying it doesn't. But there's still quite a bit to explore and secrets to discover. 
But I mean, look at the scale of the pyramid and compared to the scale of the Sphinx. It's just amazing. So yeah, it's like, I'm gonna go... Wee! Slow! Wee! Because I'm very silly. So yeah, there we go. I'm going to exit out. Where are we? End game. That's quite an epic pose there. Wonder completed. Obviously, it still has some other little Fortnite mechanics in there. We can customize some stuff. Um, so there we go. You are able to play this right now. Wonders Pyramids of Giza. So if you want to discover it, either enter the island code or it's in Epic Picks. I mean, it's the beginning because I've got it, you know, favorited. Um, but well, it's just... I'm just in awe of what we've created. Claiming no credit for myself beyond I copied and pasted the copy in and uploaded the image in the video so that we could get it live <laughs> and spent some days testing. This has been the work of many, many months of a dedicated team. I'll go away screenshot. Many months of a dedicated team. Um, working closely with Epic Games to iron out any kinks in the creator program. And I'm just so damn proud of everyone involved. The whole company. It really is like a group undertaking. And it's just so cool that like I get to play games like this that we've made so yeah hopefully you all enjoyed that I'm gonna switch over after a very short break um, and do some power washing we're going to going back to Lara Croft for some power washing but I just wanted to show you all what we made what my team made what preloaded made proud Joe is proud yeah I know is proud, proud of what my team's done. Um, so yeah, very proud. So I'm just gonna put my end screen up so I can uh, stop this recording. So I've got it nicely book plated in a in a single video, and then we're gonna go to the break screen and run an ad because I need to, you know, go get some hydration. Um, because I was so excited to play this map that I forgot to make tea. So I need to go make some tea. Well, rescue my cold brew from the fridge anyway. Um, but yeah. One last reminder. Um, island code is up there. You can also go to the Preloader website, preloader.com, and check out Wonders, Pyramids of Giza, to read more about the experience and keep an eye out um, for the lesson plan and further educational materials that are coming soon. TM. I don't know when exactly soon. But yeah, we're one of Epic's picks. Um, this was developed and produced by Freeloaded Studio. I'm so proud. So right, I will be right back. Just, just for this ending segment, I've been Joe, otherwise known as Angel SK. Um, I am the very proud head of engineering at Preloaded Studio. Um, we're just going to have a short break, and then we'll be back soon. Thank you so much for watching this bit, anyway. <laughs>